डे टू यू टूडे इस ब्लॉक में हेल्प फॉर मेनी ऑफ यू टू रिस्टोर योर ब्रोकन रिलेशनशिप इन योर मैरिड लाइफ और इट मे हेल्प टू एनालाइज वेर एग्जैक्टली गॉन रॉन्ग इन योर मैरिड लाइफ आई वॉन्ट टू बिगिन विथ एन इलस्ट्रेशन अ कपल गोज टू द पास्ट seeking a divorce from their married life after listening to their grievances the pastor instructs them saying christians cannot get divorce from their married life because the bible invites us to put into practice the commandment of love the couple replies yes pastor we know the commandment of love in the bible but it's no more possible for us to put into practice this commandment of love in our married life therefore we need to get a divorce at the earliest we are already living in separate rooms the pastor said are you already living in separate rooms doesn't matter the bible says love your neighbor as well you cannot get rid of him and you cannot get rid of her therefore you still cannot get a divorce the couple says oh pastor we live in separate rooms like enemies we do not have any communication with each other that's still okay still you cannot be separated because the bible says love your enemies as christians and as the people of god we cannot give up marriage on the off way rather we need to work out our level best to restore it most marriages encounter problems and conflicts sooner or later why very often people get married with ideas not with a person people daydream how a partner should be you design in your mind how your wife should be how your husband should be when you enter into marriage with these ideas later on when you get married with a person you don't see these ideas these qualities you expected you start feeling this is not the person whom i have expected keeping these ideas in the mind you start treating the person there starts a conflict sometimes maybe promises are made by the partners which were not able to be fulfilled after the marriage after the marriage what you see what you expected was not found in the partner that you were married the promise which was made not fulfilled so thought comes in the mind that i am cheated i cannot continue any more with this person sometimes one partner may have a lot of trouble accepting the other one sometimes the other partner feels that she or he is not accepted by the other partner a marriage crisis is very painful to go through but that doesn't mean we have to give up the relationship on the way it cannot be ended on the way to resolve the problem in married life it takes the effort of both partners marital problems are complex and there are no easy answers or quick solutions sometimes it may be the simple reason that brings unhappiness in someone's married life maybe a lack of unconditional love and acceptance controlling demanding and unrealistic expectations are just symptoms of that cause sometimes 
couples may consider marriage as an obligation rather than a life of love when we take it as an obligation then there is an expectation to be fulfilled when expectations are not fulfilled there will be a breakage in your married life sometimes one partner may be expecting the other one to be a perfect person born on the earth no one is perfect except jesus christ we are with flaws and sins and weaknesses of course people will always have qualities we don't like characteristics we find annoying and behavior that we wish they would stop certain things are unacceptable physical abuse repeated infidelity alcoholism and drug addictions the first couple relationship united by god was broken in the garden of eden between adam and eve why was it broken it was not broken by adam and eve but someone entered to break their relationship satan instructed them to go against the will of god the problem is that many times couples get duped into fighting each other in their married life rather than fighting the real enemy real enemy is a satan instead of fighting against him you fight against your spouse who is an innocent it is important for you to know that your enemy is satan and he is the one who will do anything and everything in his power to destroy your marriage jesus described him as a thief he said the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy john 10:10 10. sometimes i watch the crime stories on tv serials in many of the episodes we find that marriages are broken who is the reason to break it it is the intruder intruder plays a game without knowing them jealousy makes the intruder to enter in and play the game when the third person enters somewhere in your relationship it happens so leaving the third person aside the couples fight each other and bring upon themselves such a situation where they end up their relationship the apostle paul tells us in ephesians 6 12 for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the powers against the world forces of this darkness against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places unfortunately many believers do not take his existence or scriptural warnings and instructions about the satan seriously we can be absolutely certain that the enemy will do everything in his power to kill to steal and to destroy the first joy and intimacy of your marriage and then the very marriage and family unit itself satan does not want god's family to grow satan corrupted eve's thinking through deceitful suggestions through suggestion he caused her to doubt and to think irrationally today satan uses the same tactics and tries to do the same thing to us satan seeks to mess with our minds causes to doubt this is satan's disguise he seeks to corrupt us through our thinking to get us to exalt ourselves to selfish and independent actions and attitudes to safeguard your marriage you must be alert deal with your enemy refute his lies and think straight 
James admonishes us submit yourselves then to God resist the devil and he will flee from you James 4:7 We always expect a change but we expect a change from others so one pressurizes your spouse to change we can't change someone else we can only change ourselves trying to change your spouse will create a tension in your relationship and actually discourage him or her from changing and besides even if your spouse did change he or she wouldn't feel very good about the relationship until you made some changes in yourself developing a better marriage begins with being willing to examine your own part in your marriage troubles and become a better spouse yourself if you want to restore your marriage it is absolutely crucial that you accept responsibility for your own mistakes in the relationship rather than blaming your spouse and demanding your spouse to change jesus said why do you look at the speck that is in your brother's eye but do not notice the log that is in your own eye or how can you say to your brother let me take the speck out of your eye and behold the log is in your own eye matthew 7:3-4 ephesians 4:31-32 says let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you along with all malice and be kind to one another tender hearted forgiving each other just as god in christ also has forgiven you ask him to guide you and work through you with his power as you strive to reconcile with your spouse if either of you haven't yet begun a relationship with jesus christ do so now surrender your life to him and ask him to forgive you of your sins accept his forgiveness and begin to live for him ask god to make you aware of the ways you have hurt you are made and to give you humility to confess those hurts to him and you are made ask him to give you the empathy for your spouse that you need to understand how those hurts have harmed your marriage listen to your partner's version of what's happened without getting defensive trust is the fundamental ingredient in building an intimate relationship between husband and wife it takes a very short time to destroy trust and a much longer time to rebuild it at times couples think that there is no way out repairing and restoring the relationship is not possible because the trust is lost and find it impossible to trust again when you feel it is impossible you will never even attempt to do it so in this blog i want to pray for all the couples in the world who are experiencing breakage in their married life let god's peace flow into you let the wounds caused by your spouse may be healed may you live fresh again pray for restoring marriage lord i come before you today with a heavy heart my marriage is in grave trouble and i need your help and closeness please make changes in my heart as well as in the heart of my spouse make us compatible again and bring us closer together as we were before fill us with your love and give us the strength 
to love one another care for one another and fulfill your life long wishes for us show us the harm caused by careless and call for words and the pain caused by emotional distance heal the division between the two of us there is a communication gap between us we are both lacking in our compassion and understanding towards each other i pray we should be better than this and that you will open our hearts to you holy spirit please help us be better communicators with each other i pray that we would live with understanding for what the other person is going through and that we are thoughtful in our words and actions bless us and restore our marriage in jesus name amen i wind up today's session with the blessing prayer of saint francis of assisi may the lord bless and keep you may he make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you may he turn his countenance toward you and give you his peace amen friends i invite you to watch my blog after watching do not forget to subscribe do not forget to click like button and also to click the bell icon if you want to comment on my blog you are welcome if you like to have prayers you are welcome to request if you want to contact me i will leave my contacts in my below links